Hi guys and welcome to today's cleaning video. Okay, this is my house at the moment. It's a bit of a mess. And the kids have had some messy play out this morning. So it's pretty pretty darn messy. Uh, in the living room, it's full of toys. We've got colouring all over my keyboard and table. And the kids are currently just having some colouring time watching a film. but it's in need of a very good clean. So I'm starting off with the messiest area in my house, which is my table and my floor, where the kids have been playing with lots of like messy play cereal, pastas and rice. So I like to let them play with this because it helps them with their sensory development and it's just a lot of fun and it keeps them entertained. The only thing is I have to make sure that it's a day where I'm happy to be tidying up after them because it becomes a very big mess. And occasionally if I wander off the boys tend to throw, throw all the food and messy plate bits all over the kitchen. I've recently painted my placemats blue. I didn't want to throw them away because they were still, still good enough to use and the kids make a big mess and I wanted something wipeable so I just painted them with acrylic paint and then glossed over them. And they do the job and I've not had to spend a lot of money on something new that will just get messy. Unfortunately, I lost some of the footage for sweeping up, so I've only got the start of me sweeping up. I think my camera might have just turned off, to be honest, before it was supposed to. I'm just working my way around the kitchen slowly and doing bits and bobs here and there. I always tend to start in the kitchen because that tends to be the messiest room in the house. I am cleaning my surfaces with co with co cleaning spray, and I've actually added some some scent to this with essential oils. I put lavender and citronella in this spray because we've been having quite a few flies coming into the house with it being a lot hotter recently. And to avoid this, I'm trying to use citronella, which is supposed to be a insect kind of repellent and so far it's been working I've not I've not seen flies since I've started to do this 
I have found that the citronella is a little bit strong so next time I refill my bottle I'll probably put a few less drops of that and a little bit extra of of my lavender essential oil I'm now using the pink stuff on my cooker. I find that it works really well to get off all the um, to get off all the kind of cooked on stains and things. It is very good at getting off tough stains. It's also really good on my sink. They're the main two places that I use it. So when I showed you the video of my kitchen at the beginning, I don't know if you noticed, but my iPad was absolutely covered in glue. It's, Max got hold of it and he got hold of a glue stick and now I've got dried on glue all over my iPad. So I'm now trying to scrub all the, all the glue off of my iPad and I didn't know what better way to do it than to put a bit of my coat on spray a bit of coat on the iPad but I'm being very careful not to put much on at a time and it just took me ages to get this off Now that I've cleaned all the surfaces, I'm going over everything. I'm going over the floor with the vacuum to pick up any of the any of the bits of crumbs and mess that's fallen all over the floor, and any extra bits of cereal and rice that may have been flicked across the room.
I've only just finished kind of cleaning my kitchen and so I have, and it's already lunchtime so I thought I'd put in the fact that I'm already making another mess before I've finished properly cleaning. I'm feeding Frankie my turtle and his water has recently been getting a lot of bugs in and it's been getting really dirty really quickly so we're trying to see if it helps by taking him out of his tank to feed him and so far so good normally by I think it's been about three days and it would have normally needed cleaning again which is ridiculous how much it needed cleaning so it's lasting a lot longer And of course, my living room is covered in toys, but Max is joining me in the living room today and he does not want to let me tidy up and keep, keep the toys clean and put away today. So I'm letting him play with a couple of little bits that he wants to play with, but then trying to keep on top of everything. So I was doing my best to tidy up and organise all the toys but every time I turned around Max had got something else out so I did do quite a bit of tidying but after I did everything I felt like it wasn't completely done because my kids just cannot leave things alone for more than five minutes. Does anybody else feel like they are on a constant battle to try and keep the house even a little bit tidy when they've got kids and then you're exhausted at the end of the day from cleaning and still sat in a pile of toys? It just becomes a little bit ridiculous. I decided at this point just to hoover around Max and try and try and avoid him and just clean as much as I could. My camera actually ran out of battery so I ended up using my phone to film a couple of bits as well which is why it tends to be a little bit wobblier because my tripod for my phone is not the best and it doesn't help that it's really windy so it's knocking it around a little bit If you like this video please click the subscribe button, give me a good thumbs up and I will see you next on my next video. Thank you for watching, bye!